G'day, and welcome to the Cast Iron Boys, and I'm Mick. Today, I'm Mick. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to film here. <laughs> so anyway, the other day, we took the family down to my grandmother's house, and um, on Good Friday, she always cooks fish. So today, I thought I'd share her favourite fish recipe, because it tastes so good, and it's so simple. What do you reckon, Nick? I think that sounds good. Do you, do you have one you're going to cook? I am. Uh, my parents used to make one with uh, some lemon, dill, garlic, and also almost like a surf and turf with a couple of prawns on top. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. Well, I'm going to do Italian style, Nick. Okay. So, All right. I'll yep. let, jump out of the shop for you and you can start on the... Uh... <laughs> no worries. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right. Oh, hobble away. So for the Italian style fish that I'm going to cook, I've got a piece of Nile perch here. Got a big red onion. Can you use some of that? I've got a lemon. We've got some tomatoes. Some cloves of garlic there, some basil, and some olives. First, I'm going to start off by cutting up and preparing my red onion. I'm going to slice up this Roma tomato. So now I'm just going to peel and bruise a couple of cloves of garlic. And then I'm going to slice up a lemon. And I'm just going to get some basil. And it's all ready to go. Alrighty, so it's time to stick my fish on there. Just going to squeeze some lemon juice. Lay out my tomatoes. and placing on the red onion. Adding the crushed garlic. A couple of pieces of basil. The final ingredient, lots of olives. I'm a big fan of olives there. Final step, just gonna drizzle on some olive oil. and wrap them up like a little parcel there. All right, so I'm just gonna place that one in the fridge and I'm gonna get Nick to come and show you his version of his fish. Oof, I'll blend. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna show you my family's favorite. All right, so, um, got some lovely raw prawns, okay. Nice potato, lemon, some dill, and your garlic. Okay, so first off, I might start doing the potato. Now, with the potato, um, you want nice, thin, even slices. The best thing to use is I've got a grater here which has actually got the slice attachment. So, first, I'm just gonna grab my potato and do some potato slices. Okay, so as you can see, some nice, thin slices. I'll just pop them to the side. Now I'm just going to grab a clove of garlic, just crush that one up. Yeah. Just got one lemon here, just going to cut that up. Now you want this in nice slices. So just nice. Okay, <laughs> and last but not least, you'll need some dill. All right, so I'm just gonna break up a little bit of the dill. Just get that sliced up nice and fine. <laughs> oh, my boat blue eyes. <laughs> All right, so now I've just got some tinfoil here, which I've just uh, cut a piece off. So now we're just gonna serve it up. So what you need to do first is a tiny bit of olive oil. Bottom of the sheet. Grab your potatoes, okay, and start lining them up on the bottom of the tray, nice and evenly. Yeah. So now um, we just put a tiny sprinkle of dill over the top of the potatoes. Not much. Don't need much on the top of this. Okay. Just adds gives it a bit of flavour. Grab your fish fillet. Place it directly on the top. 
Okay. Grab your nice big clump of dill here. Just gonna put some spray on the top, get rid of the cracks. Add it all down. Focus. <laughs> Alright, so now you just gotta grab your garlic cloves that you crushed. Okay. And just put them on the top of the dish. Then grab your lemon wedges. Look up here. And go straight on the top. Sweet. I'll just get one more to spare because that'll create a bit of steam. Squeeze all the way around. Don't waste it. Straight on top. There. Grab your prawns. Prawns. Jump. Oh, Nick, that looks awesome. I reckon. Not at boys. Hey. I reckon um, that's going to be good. So we just get the camp oven ready and we're going to pop those in and we're going to cook them in a minute. Alrighty, so now we've got our fish ready here. We've got the camp oven mate running here on the gas burner. Yep, camp oven mate done by Southern Metal Spinners and we're also using the uh, Aussie, Aussie camp, camp oven. oven. Thank you, man. <laughs> Have a bit of a mind fart then or something. Oh, I think so. Alright, two little parcels. Ready to go. So this is a very simple dish to do while you're camping here. As you saw, we haven't got much ingredients in our fish. Lid on. Top lid on. It's easy as that, guys. So we're going to let that go for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to check them and uh, we'll be back to show you the finished product. Cool. Stay tuned. Guys, so we've given it about half an hour and we've checked it a couple of times and basically the thing is just keep an eye on it. Come on mate, let's go, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I know, I know, come on. <laughs> We're gonna have a good feed here today. Oh, yeah. oh. Smells so good. Just now. Oh. Get this fish out. Right. Check out those parcels. Oh check it out. Mm -hmm. Gonna open that up. Oh, that looks good, Nick. Nice and cooked there. How's yours going? Oh, thanks. Alrighty, guys. So, we've had a chance to cook our food, plate it up here. And here's my Italian family favourite. As it's got all the tomatoes and, and uh, olives and stuff on there. And here we got mine. The old turkey style family favourite. Surf and surf. <laughs> Yeah, you get it. Really have no, I know. Meat in there. It's got the fish, so that's our fur. Alrighty, guys. Have a good day, and uh, check us out next week.